Hello colleagues, this is Ryan Dunbar, member of the EdTech team, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of creating more dynamic files for your students. Now if you're kind of a real beginner with Canvas, you don't necessarily have to watch this video, but for, for everyone else, I, I highly recommend it because it'll save you a lot of time in the future. So first, what's the problem? The problem with uploading files to Canvas is that the files are very static, meaning they can't change. So if, say, you upload a file that later on you want to change, what you have to do is delete it and then re-upload a new file. And that can be kind of a pain in the neck. So let me show you what I mean. I have this file called Extra Help Availability. If I click on it, it shows the students my availability for extra help. Tuesday, 2.50 to 3.30, Thursday, 2.50 to 3.30, and the location and also by appointment. Now, what you'll notice is I can't click on any of this or change it. It just is static. It doesn't change. Um, so that's not really an issue until, say, something comes up on Tuesdays and now I have to shift over to Wednesdays and Thursdays. Well, what that means is I now have to go back to my modules here and I have to go through kind of an annoying process of I have to delete this file, remove it from here, then I'd have to go to Files, and I'm not actually going to do it now because I want to leave the file up, but um, I'd have to go to Introductory Materials, and I'd have to delete it here as well. So that's kind of a lot of work that I have to do. It'll probably take me five or ten minutes, um, especially because then I have to re-upload a new file that reflects my updated extra help availability. Now maybe you're okay with that five to ten minutes of deleting and then re-uploading, but Think about what's going to happen at the beginning of next school year when you have anywhere from 15 to 20 documents or maybe even more that are now outdated and you need to just make minor adjustments to. Well, that's going to take you a lot of time to go through, delete all those files, and then re-upload new ones. So the question is, how can we make more dynamic files, files that can be changed easily without going through that kind of annoying process? Well, the solution is by using Google Drive. So you can go to drive.google.com, and then what you'll do is you'll click on New, and you'll click on Google Docs. Now keep in mind you can use any of these file types, but for this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you through Google Docs. So let's say I want a dynamic file for my extra help time. So I'm going to call the file extra help, and I'm going to click down here, and I'm going to put Mr. Dunbar extra so now I wanted to change it, right? So let's say I'm just changing it to Monday through Wednesday uh, from 2.50 to 3.30 or by appointment. Okay. Now I know this is like a bare bones version, but that's completely fine. I don't want you to watch me typing all day. So now this is important. After you've made your document that you want to be dynamic, you want to click on share. After you click on share, it's important you want to click on get shareable link. This is going to give you a link that lets you share this particular document. Now, here's a change I would recommend making. It says anyone at Chamana High School with the link can view. You can certainly leave it that way. That's fine. I change it to, under more, on anyone with the link. The reason I don't limit it to Chamana High School is because students might not be in their Chamana Google accounts when they try and link on, uh, click on the link, and then it won't work for them, and they'll get really frustrated. This eliminates that problem. I just let anybody who has the link view it, and if somebody across the planet wants to view it, enjoy. So now I want to click on Save. So now that I have this link, I want to copy it by hitting Command-C or Control-C. And now I click on Done. Now I have the link to this changeable file. I want to go back to my documents, and I'm going to add a new, uh, hit this plus sign on this module, and instead of adding an assignment, I'm going to add an external URL. And in the URL space, I'm just going to paste. And then I'm going to have the page name Extra Help Availability. And that's it. And I'll add item. Now I want to publish it. Okay, so now what you'll notice is there's a piece, a file, right here in my Introduction English 2 that says Extra Help Availability. But it has a little link next to it instead of a little download um, signal. That means you've done it correctly if you see that link. So now you want to click on it. And this is what the students will see too. 
When you click on it, you'll notice it brings you to a file. Now what's really cool is, unlike before where I couldn't edit things, now I can change whatever I want. And that's why I wasn't worried about not writing things out before, because it's so easy to do that now. So, now I have this changeable file, you might be asking yourself, well, what's stopping a student from going into this file and just changing everything? Well, they can't. Since I'm the creator of this document and I never gave anyone else access to edit it, it is completely static for them, but not for me. So what's great about that is I can change anything, they can't, so that link will always be there. So I don't have to delete it or re-upload it, but it's something that um, I can change whenever I want without going through that painstaking process. So any file as you go through the year that you anticipate will need to be updated in the future, I strongly recommend doing it by linking a Google Drive document by doing what I just did. Other applications of this, you'll see I actually have a vocab and spelling quiz schedule up on this, and I have a temporary, and I say this is subject to change, quiz schedule. Now it's good if there's a snow day, I can just jump in here and change any of the dates I want. If I need to push something back, I can change it. And then the students can check back and see what's changed. But of course, they can't change anything. So I hope you can see how convenient and how applicable this is, especially with documents that change over the course of the year over the, or over the course of multiple years. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to stop by and ask or set up an appointment with the EdTech team. Have a great day.